Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Ancient Mysteries with Lillian. Today, we're diving into one of the most fascinating artifacts from antiquity, the Antikythera Mechanism. This isn't just any old piece of history. It's a device that has puzzled scientists, historians, and enthusiasts alike for over a century. So, grab your favorite beverage, get comfortable, and let's explore this ancient marvel together. Imagine you're diving in the crystal clear waters off the coast of Antikythera, a small Greek island. It's 1901, and you're part of a team exploring a shipwreck from the first century BC. Amidst the scattered remnants of ancient life, you find something extraordinary, a corroded lump of bronze and wood. At first glance, it might not seem like much, but this lump would soon reveal itself as one of the most sophisticated pieces of technology from the ancient world. The Antikythera mechanism, as it came to be known, was initially dismissed as a mere curiosity. However, as researchers began to peel back the layers of time and corrosion, they uncovered a device of astonishing complexity. This wasn't just a simple tool. It was an analog computer designed to predict astronomical positions and eclipses decades in advance. Now let's talk about what makes this mechanism so special. The device consists of a complex system of gears, dials, and pointers, all encased in a wooden box about the size of a modern laptop. Here's where it gets really interesting. The mechanism could track the cycles of the sun, moon, and possibly even the planets, with an accuracy that rivals modern astronomical calculations. In my personal opinion, the Antikythera mechanism stands as a testament to the ingenuity of ancient Greek engineers. It's not just about the technology itself, but what it represents. Here we have evidence that the Greeks were not only philosophers and artists, but also pioneers in mechanical engineering. This device challenges our preconceived notions about the technological capabilities of ancient civilizations. The mechanism's front dial, for instance, displayed the metonic cycle, which is a 19-year period over which the phases of the moon repeat. This cycle was crucial for ancient calendars, and the Antikythera mechanism could predict these phases with remarkable precision. On the back, there were two further dials, one for the Saros cycle, which predicts eclipses, and another for the Calypic cycle, a 76-year period that corrects the metonic cycle for a more accurate calendar. But who could have created such a device? The prevailing theory points towards Archimedes or his school of thought. Archimedes, known for his contributions to mathematics and engineering, could very well have had the mind to conceive something as intricate as the Antikythera mechanism. However, there's no direct evidence linking him to this artifact. Another theory suggests that this might have been a product of the Library of Alexandria, a hub of knowledge where scholars from across the known world gathered. Here, the blend of Greek, Egyptian, and possibly even Babylonian astronomical knowledge could have culminated in the creation of this device. Now let's delve into how this mechanism worked. The core of the Antikythera mechanism was its gear system. Each gear was precisely cut to interact with others, creating a mechanical model of the solar system. The gears were so finely crafted that they could simulate the irregular movements of celestial bodies, something that was thought to be beyond the capabilities of ancient technology. The mechanism's gears were not just simple cogs, they were differential gears type of gear system that wasn't seen again until the 16th century. This level of sophistication suggests that there might have been a lost tradition of mechanical engineering in the ancient world, one that we're only now beginning to understand. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. The Antikythera mechanism wasn't just about tracking time or predicting astronomical events. It was also an educational tool. Imagine ancient scholars using this device to teach students about the cosmos, to explain the movements of the stars and planets, and to predict significant events like eclipses. This device was not only a technological marvel, 
but also a bridge between science and education. Now, let's address some of the unresolved questions. How was this knowledge lost? Why don't we see more devices like this from the same period? One theory is that the knowledge was perhaps too specialized or too closely guarded to survive the tumultuous times that followed, like the decline of the Roman Empire or the destruction of the Library of Alexandria. Another question is about its purpose. Was it a navigational tool for sailors, a teaching aid for astronomers, or perhaps a luxury item for the wealthy to show off their understanding of the cosmos? In my view, it might have served multiple purposes, adapting to the needs of its users over time. The Antikythera mechanism also raises questions about the transmission of knowledge. If this device was indeed a product of Greek ingenuity, how did this knowledge spread or get lost? Did it influence later civilizations, or was it an isolated achievement? Let's not forget the craftsmanship involved. The precision required to create such gears, the understanding of metallurgy to prevent corrosion, and the mathematical knowledge to design the system are all aspects that speak volumes about the technological peak of the Hellenistic period. Now. I want to hear from you. What do you think about the Antikythera mechanism? Do you believe it was an isolated invention? Or do you think there were more like it that we haven't discovered yet? Write in the comments below if you agree with my opinion that this device represents a lost chapter in the history of technology, or if you have a different take on its significance. And while you're at it, if you found this exploration of the Antikythera mechanism... As fascinating as I did, please give this video a like. Subscribe to Ancient Mysteries with Lillian for more deep dives into the past. And share this video with friends who love history and mysteries as much as we do. The Antikythera mechanism continues to be a subject of intense research. Modern technologies like X-ray tomography and 3D modeling have allowed scientists to peer inside the mechanism without further damaging it revealing more about its inner workings. Each new discovery adds layers to our understanding, not just of this device, but of the ancient world's capabilities. In closing, the Antikythera mechanism isn't just a relic. It's a beacon of human curiosity and ingenuity. It reminds us that our ancestors were not just surviving, but thriving, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? That over 2,000 years ago, someone was looking up at the same stars we see today, trying to understand the universe in a way that we're still trying to comprehend. So, what's your take on this ancient computer? Was it a one-off marvel, or do you think there's more out there waiting to be discovered? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments. And remember... History is not just about the past. It's a dialogue with the future. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep learning. Thank you for joining me on this journey through time with Ancient Mysteries with Lillian.